These aren't your mother's clothes. Sorry? They were in a wardrobe. They're not hers. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I don't She's think wearing that. a green nightdress. Okay. No, it's not okay. It's not hers. I'm sorry, I don't really know. She would never been. wear green. Well, I'll have a way for colour. It's not have... hers. Why is she wearing someone else's clothes? Well, there must have been a mix-up in the laundry. It's unlucky. What is? Green. She's never worn it, not since my dad got knocked over. Wouldn't have it in the house. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise well, it. What up. happened to the clothes I brought in? Well, like I said, there must have been a mix-up in the laundry. I'm sorry. That's just not good enough. I know, and I'm sorry. And why is my mother still in bed? I didn't know she was in bed. What do you mean? You didn't know? Well, she had a breakfast in yeah, her room. Why but... did she have a breakfast in her room? Because she wanted to, but I thought she was up and dressed. Oh, the tray is still sitting there. I'm sorry about that. We've been a bit short staffed this morning. She said someone had changed her name to Joan. Oh, sometimes. Well, it's well, Joanna, not Joan. I know, I'm just saying. She also said someone had stolen a watch. Oh, she said something about that yesterday. What did they? No, we don't think so. Well, it's not in her room. Well, maybe it's under the bed. I've looked under the bed. Well, maybe she's left it I can't hand. find the slippers either. Well, what do they look like? Red. Fluffy, red slippers. <laughs> right, I'll keep an eye out for them. Gloria, I hope you don't mind, but I've brought you something else. Belong to a friend of mine. It's a 1950s jacket, I think. It was her granddad's. She doesn't want it, so I thought maybe you might like it. I could put it in your wardrobe and you could wear it if you wanted. Yes. Jacket. Me and Amos got the embassy. Yes. Me and Amos. And Iris was your girlfriend. Yes. <gasps> Long time. Eight, ten, twenty years. <laughs> Thank you. It's a sad day, isn't it? Of course it is, the bloody scent is closing. Yeah. Did, did you hear that Margaret Thatcher had died? Thank God for that, that's what I said to that. Oh, I thought she was a bloody witch, that's what she was. <laughs> My husband used to call her Margaret Thatcher the Milk Thatcher. <laughs> The Iron Lady. The Iron Lady Mayos. <laughs> she, she was a bloody disgrace. Right, ladies. <laughs> Here we are. Why have you moved the tables? Well, seeing as it's the last day, we well, I like to sit down there on this side. Who we thought it might be nice. Where's but... everybody else at? A couple of the buses have been delayed. Oh. Oh, what time's the wife you coming from, the Chronicle? Oh, she should be here any minute now. Good. Do you know what you're going to say? Oh, I know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to tell them, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell them it's a bloody disgrace. I've been coming here for years. You should tell oh, them. Oh, will. But you know, today's about celebrating what this sense has achieved for so many people. So I think the best thing we can do is have a cracking party. 